So in the last video we just finished doing this vaulted ceiling, drawing that little uh, roof on the front of the house and finishing this end elevation. We did something else too, I forget what it was, but oh we did the roof plan down here. The final thing we're going to do today is we're going we're to draw this roof truss in the opposite section. So we're going to draw that truss in the opposite section. We already have the top of the height, so we'll go from your top of your sheathing straight across. We already have that top height, and this line here is the underside of the fascia which we already have that line too. You just have both those lines, and then this line and this line are both offset 16 inches from the outside of exterior sheathing. So from there, there is 16 inches. That's going to be sort of the majority of your roof. I'm going to get off the hidden layer here and go to the floor layer, or roof layer. So what we want to do first is we want to draw a truss. I'm just going to draw one in a random spot. Right now, actually, I'm going to do something else here first. This fascia line, I'm going to erase it because I've got this line here which tells me where my underside of my fascia is and I can also go back over here to find out where the underside of fascia is. I know it's right there, but I, I don't want that line to confuse me. My truss now is going to go, oh I need one more thing too, I need to drag my sheathing across. So the top of my sheathing is here, the top of my truss is here, drag that line straight across. So it's going to be close to half inch but not quite a half inch, it'll be a little bit off. So I'm going to trim the ends off here. And there's my sheathing in section, sort of, it's really, really close to half an inch. First thing I want to do is I want to draw just a straight line to the underside of sheathing. So that's my straight line. I'm going to offset it one and a half. These trusses are two by fours. In this direction, they're three and a half inches. In this direction, they're going to be one and a half inches. So if I offset this line three and a half, and offset that line three and a half, and trim them up, this is going to give me, this is now showing... Let me just draw one more thing in here. Of course my layering is bad as normal, so you're going to have to do better layering than this. This now is 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 me cutting through the truss. You know, I don't know where it is, but fictionally we're taking it as tall as it can be. I'm cutting through that cord and that cord, and that's why I've drawn the, uh, the dimensional lumber cut through symbol. And then these lines right there, these two lines, is just looking at the truss in the distance. So this is my first, this is a truss, and I'm happy with this truss. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy it straight across. Uh, I need to get a truss on the gable, so that'll be called a gable truss or gable end. I'm going to stretch this line down. So I'll use my stretch, I hit S. I'm going to stretch that down three and a half inches. So if I stretch it like that, that should work. And I'm just going to put a little, finish my line off. And then I'm going to put sheathing. All the gable end trusses come sheathed, so I'm going to offset half an inch. And there's my gable truss with my sheathing. I'm just going to move this into place. This goes sheathing always lines up with sheathing. So I'm going to move it right to there. Looks good. Now, something that's important here is taking the outside of the exterior wall. So I'm going to take the outside of my exterior wall, offset it um, 24 inches. This, These trusses are almost, almost, almost always offset at or space at 24 inches. Uh, that's going to be to the center of this truss. So if I go to the center of my dimensional lumber there, move that into place. That's going to be 24 inches from outside of exterior wall to the center of the first truss. That's what I want. Now I can take this thing and or use the array command. So if I type in array, I want I want rectangular, I want one row, and I want... Uh, I put 20 columns last time. Let's put 24 today. No, it's not. Let's put 20. Let's put 20. The row offset is zero. I don't have any rows. And my column offset is going to be 24. It's going to be minus because I want it to go left. Select the object, I'll just go window this thing like that, and hit OK. There's a bunch of trusses. That's good. Um, I want another gable end truss at the other end, so I'm just going to copy this one. And copy that truss, the gable end, take it all the way down, and then mirror it. Once I get it back, just mirror it with itself. That didn't work. There we go. There's the original. I don't need it. Now I can move this thing in place. The reason I mirrored it because I always want the sheathing on the outside. There's my sheathing, there's my gable and truss, great. I see that I'm at least one truss short. Actually, you know what? I know I'm one truss short. So I'm just going to copy one more truss over, just use the copy command. And then just to double check everything, I'm going to dimension from outside a wall to center of first truss, two feet. That's because this, this, this building is 44 feet, so it's an even number. So that's why those, both those dimensions work out. Now what we need is we need a lookout. So to get our overhang on this side, we need a lookout. So I'm just going to draw a line straight across. 
and I don't think I have any uh, stud back there or anything, but I do have a 2x6 on this side. So I'm going to draw a 2x6 at 1.5 comma 5.5. So 1 half by 6 and a half, and move that into place. Or 1 half by 5 and a half, and move that into there. And again, dimensional lumber gets denoted by, when you're cutting through it, gets denoted by an X. There's my 2x6. So there's my lookout, looking out over my last gable end. This fascia here, can, I can now draw back in. So this fascia line lines up right there and extends all the way here. So what this is, is this is the edge of the fascia way in the distance. So I'm looking at the distance, or the house in the distance. That's going to be the edge of my fascia line. I'm just going to take that, that thing there, the lookout, just mirror it way over here, and then just move that into place. If I just take it by that end point and just move it straight across, it should snap to there. Perfect. I can just draw my fascia in the distance. I don't like when that mirror pops up. I want an end point. That should work. Now, we have something else here. I told you in plan that the uh, vault is going to start here. So we have that vaulted roof we drew last video. The vault starts right here. So I'm just going to pause this for a second, move this floor plan into place so it'll work on my new one. Okay, so when I was drawing my, my new section roof, I didn't have the floor plan below because I drew it. Previously, I just copied everything off to the side, but I forgot to copy that floor plan. So I want the vault to start right here. So on the, on the wall, just behind the fridge, on this side of the wall, okay? Drag that line straight up. If we drag that line straight up, that's where the vault is going to begin. And I get the vault height by going over to our vault. And make sure your roof and everything is lined up. That's the maximum height of the vault right there, right? I'm going to take that line, move that straight across. So this is the maximum height of my vault line, and this is where the vault begins. I'm just going to trim this roof up right there. That ceiling line, that's that's going to happen. Erase that dimension over there. This is where it's going to start. So what I'm going to do is, all of these trusses are great. Now these ones need to be stretched. So if I use the stretch command, just type in S. If you want to use the stretch, it's also, I think it's right there. That's the stretch. I use S. Type in S, and just select these ones. Don't select that last one for now. Select those, and then zo zoom in to the end point of one of these. Don't go to the nearest. Make sure you go to the end point and just stretch that whole thing straight up. Same thing, we can do the same thing with this last one. This is our rake wall, so it's going to be full height, so I can stretch that up too. Before I do that though, I just want to move this fascia out of the way for a sec. Actually, let's just erase it. I want to erase that fascia. And I'm going to stretch this thing up too. Take the top of wall right up to the underside of the new vaulted ceiling. Perfect. And then trim this line. Perfect. And then trim it here. Great. So, uh, you can't really let me trim all that. You can't really have your roof like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the last regular gable truss like that, and then copy my first scissor truss like that. So they will actually butt together. I think this is how Ken's doing it on the Shaw House. So center to center is going to be two feet. I'm going to continue that dimension, and it's going to go one foot to there, one foot to there, and then pick up with the two feet again. So if you can see where I dropped those dimensions, I dropped it right in the center of those two. So I, that's actually, I think, is a fluke that actually happened. Uh, one other thing I want to do is, this is going to be my bathroom. This this wall here is my bathroom wall. That's that wall. So if the vault starts here, it's going to be vaulting right over top of the tub there too. I think that'll be a bit of a goofy detail. So I'm just going to extend this ceiling line over and just back frame that. I'm going to offset it 3.5. and then copy this stud. I think this is how that might work. I'll just copy it over like that. I think the framer would actually back frame it like that. This would then be empty space, but at least in my bathroom I have a consistent ceiling height all the way across, so it doesn't look stupid. And then the fascia line is good continue from there, and then just pick up along that wall. So again, none of my, none of my layering is correct. You can see my fascias line up on my crosshairs. Um, if you want to look and see if your See, if you have your full crosshairs, you can see the line disappears right there. There's the ceiling and the bottom part of the truss. Everything seems to be lining up. I'm going to go over to my old drawing, see if I forgot anything. I don't think I did. So I got I got both my lookouts. I got, I have both my lookouts. I got my uh, gable and truss sheath, 2 by 6 fascia. Uh, this thing here is all centered. I'm going to erase that. And I uh, got my back framing in the bathroom. I think that's it. This is all everything that you required uh, for submission two. So, hope everything goes well. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. Bye.